Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, it is Easter Sunday, and so we didn't do a traditional ham or anything like that. We decided to grill out. So Howard grilled out some chicken thighs, and we used this Caribbean style jerk marinade that I picked up from Walmart. It's our first time using it. Howard is kind of a snob when it comes to jerk seasoning. He is from Jamaica and normally we use Walker's wood, but every time I see a jerk marinade, I do try to get it and try it. He said it has a very mild jerk flavor. I haven't tried it yet. So we're having that, he grilled it. The skin got a little, I guess, um, charred from the marinade, but the chicken itself is okay. And then I also made um, macaroni and cheese. So I do have a recipe on our channel for crock pot macaroni and cheese. That's the recipe that I used, but I baked it in the oven instead for about half an hour. So there's some mac and cheese. And then I also made some collard greens with ham hocks. And for dessert, I made a peach cobbler. So this is what we are having for dinner today and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Kung Pao chicken from Trader Joe's. Howard cooked dinner for us tonight. It's a quick skillet meal. Um, it comes with peanuts and we never put the peanuts in it. Uh, we don't care for the peanuts in this. And with it, I just made some steamed jasmine rice and then I stir fried some broccoli with olive oil and garlic salt. And here is the Kung Pao chicken on the plate. You can see the peppers and it also has some dried chili peppers in there too, bell peppers. And it also has a little bit of um, water chestnuts in there as well. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making this um, jambalaya. It's from Aldi, I've never had it before, but I decided I wanted to doctor it up just a little bit. So in my skillet, I have um, this three pepper and onion blend, also from Aldi, and um, I had probably like a half a bag left, so I just threw it in the skillet with some oil. I'm gonna let all of the moisture cook out and let these brown up a little bit. And then for the sausage, I had this in my freezer, Cajun style smoked sausage from Zatarin's. So once my onions have cooked up, I'm going to get my sausage sliced up and then add it to the skillet. And then I'm just gonna follow the directions on the package. So I'll be back and show you how it turns out. Okay, so here is the jambalaya. It turned out pretty good. I do like the fact that I added in the extra vegetables. It does add a little bit to it. I don't think it's as flavorful as Zatarin's, um, but it's still pretty good. It has a good flavor. And with it, that is Harrison and his toy. With it, I am just serving some leftover broccoli from the other night. And this is Howard's plate and he has avocado on it. I do not have avocado on my plate. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so fun story. I am making Mexican chicken chowder and I thought I had recorded me putting everything into the pot up until this point, but I hadn't. Uh, I did not turn on the record button. So let me tell you what's in this pot. This is a recipe that I've been making for years and years. In this pot, I have one can of Rotel, one can of corn, and by the way, the Rotel and corn both undrained. And then I put in two cans of cream of chicken. Um, and then I also added some crushed red pepper, um, garlic powder, onion powder, and some dried onions. And I put it in there. So this is all boiling and come together. Did I also say a cup of chicken? I put in a cup of cooked chicken. Um, as well. If you have canned chicken, that works too. 
And so now I'm at the last step and all I'm going to do is I have an eight ounce brick of Monterey Jack cheese. All I'm gonna do is just break it up and put it in there. Years ago, I used to shred this, but Monterey Jack cheese is such a soft cheese that it melts pretty easily. So just save yourself that time. Don't even bother to try to shred it um, with a cheese grater or anything like that. So I'm just gonna do that. And if you wanted to make this even spicier, you could add um, pepper jack if you want it extra spicy. So there you go. So now I'm just gonna give this a stir and then I'm just gonna let this Monterey Jack cheese um, melt and then I will be back to show you our bowls of soup. So I realized that I forgot to mention that I also put milk in the soup too. And I used full fat, but I've also used low fat and you really can't tell the difference in this soup. So anyway, this is Howard's bowl and he is eating his with avocado. And then this is my bowl and I am eating mine with Fritos. If I don't have Fritos, I've also used tortilla chips too. And um, when you kind of stir up the chips, they kind of get soft and it's kind of like a tortilla soup so it's really good so anyway this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time hey guys so for dinner tonight we are eating from our freezer i had these johnsonville better cheddar smoked sausages in the freezer and they are going to be new for howard and i but he loves stuff like this stuff chut stuff stuffed with cheese that was easy to say um, and we are also well actually I'm going to be having these deep river jalapeno chips I really like these a lot and then Howard is going to be working on these um, chips from Trader Joe's scalloped potato chips with five cheeses so this is Howard's plate he has two hot dogs or two sausages he has avocado ketchup and he has this secret sauce on his and then this is mine, and I just have a little bit of mustard. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.